hewing off the cushion then with the loop bridge, very simple three part way to form the bridge. And you can do it probably better to do it without the cue ball, without the distraction of the cue ball. So the first thing that most players don't realise when watching players on TV, it's the edge of the thumb that is guiding the cue. Then that middle finger touches, then the first finger loops over. So if that first finger was unlooped on the TV, that's what you would see on most of the players' bridge hands, the loop bridge hands. So that's very simply how you form that channel for the cue. Common mistakes are keeping the thumb away from the cue. Players think they shouldn't be touching the thumb onto the cue, but actually that's the opposite. It helps keep it in a nice straight line. So if we go back to the start position, or the wide view position, when do we need the loop bridge? Well, the problem is, the white's here. Now my first finger here would be blocking my view from my eyes to the cue ball. So we need to be at least this far, maybe 10 inches probably away from the cushion, so that that first finger is not blocking my view to the cue ball to any part of the cue ball. And also, we need to be close enough to the cushion that really this bridge is too short, and that is too short a bridge hand to play this shot with the hand in front of the cushion. That's no good with the base of the hand on the cushion because the cue is too high. And there we are from the side view. Thumb guarding against the side of the thumb. loop. Some players have a finger looped over like that, others are flat, more flat. But the idea is that when we're about this type of distance from the cue ball, or when the cue ball's this far away from the cushion, you don't need to put the hand in front of the cushion. That can reduce the effectiveness of the channel for the cue. Usually putting the hand complete and fingers on top of the cushion gives the best result. This is a common mistake because then the channel collapses. So if we go again to the front view here, you can see the cue is traveling nice and straight and then you can start potting some balls. Start with some simple pots we move the camera the other way a little bit more yeah, if we just leave it there then we can see it from a slightly different aspect we can see the thumb the cue coming out from the bridge hand from a slightly different angle smooth backswing there's nothing wrong with practicing a couple of cue actions coming back to here just to make sure the cue's moving straight and that you have no nasty surprises of a crooked backswing at the last moment. Smooth and controlled. Almost perfect. So with a bit of practice, you can get absolutely perfect with that and start potting some balls. So that the difference in height that I played there was probably only two millimeters or so. This is the Snooker Gym Player of the Year for 100 break players. You come to a stop in a controlled way and begin the delivery in a controlled way as well.